right, what's up, you guys? We're going to get into the next seven days. All right. So we're not going to be on here long because I'm ready to go to bed. I'd like to be getting some penis, but, you know, that's not happening. So I'm just going to go to bed. All right, so let's see what's going to happen for the next seven days. All right, we have Jupiter, we have Fixed, and we have the 10th house. Okay, what's up, TJ? and All right, so there's a lot of stuff focused on your career this week. Okay, big career energy. St stability, persistence, loyalty, and dependability. Um, structure, discipline. So there's a lot about like accomplishing your goals structure and it's important for you to get structure um right now what's up tony because this can help you really grow and expand if you really pay attention right now jupiter is about to go to he's about to go direct soon he's been retrograde most of the year um so when he goes direct you're going to start seeing a lot of the blessings come in if you did work on what you've been feeling like you need to work on like I don't know, it could be getting more organized. Um, most of you, this is about a routine or getting more structure in your uh, career. Or accomplishing things, doing things that you've always wanted to do, but you've put off. Okay, that's another thing that could be coming through. Okay, so really big career goals this week. And I feel like you're, you'll accomplish them as long as you stay focused and you stay structured. Okay, um, persistence is coming up a lot here too. Okay, lots of spiritual growth too because the ninth house is at the bottom of the deck and we have Jupiter. Look at that. Jupiter and Leo. Very, very lucky energy. Very, like, Jupiter and Leo will put you in the spotlight very easily. And we got Yang. All right. So the Empress came out. Like I said, lots of career success. So for the first day after this that you're watching... This can be Monday since technically it's Sunday to me. I don't give a fuck. It's Sunday. I ain't go to sleep and wake up yet. So anyway, whatever day you're watching this, the Empress is coming out. So boss energy, okay? Some of you are handling th things that have to do with your children, okay? If you um have children, your mother could be important this week as well. But I do feel like you're going to be feeling like you're in your power the, the uh, first day. And then we have the seven of cups in reverse. This is talking about clarity. So the day after that one, there's a lot of clarity coming through. Like you're going to be very determined. Like there could, that's what I'm getting like a lot of ideas and a lot of things that have just been kind of in the ethers. You're actually putting action to it. Like a lot of y'all, the reason why you've been so scattered is because you have so many ideas. Like you have so many things that you want to do. And it's kind of like narrowing down your options. It's like narrowing down your options. Okay. So, let's see. Mm. Let's get another card for after this. Let's start pulling the cards. Mm. Mm. Lord, can I, can I just go a day without seeing you? Can I just go? Because I feel like... I can't go a day without seeing you. Anyway, so we have the justice card here the day after that. So uh, if you're doing something court related, this looks really good. If you've been trying to, you know, get something in your favor when it comes to court or legal stuff, there could be some good news about that. Um, I also like the justice means that everything is going in your favor. So I feel like Wednesday or the day after that, the day after this seven of cups in reverse, because you have this clarity, it's like things are becoming more balanced. I like, I feel like you're going to, you're going to be feeling lucky or you're just going to be feeling like things are working out for you. Okay. Some of you might be getting a contract that you want. Okay. Um, two is what I'm hearing, signing up for something. This could be about a house for some of you. Then we have the three of pentacles. So this is, again, recognition and reward. This is getting recognized for your work, okay? This is getting accolades for your work. If you do something with your hands or something where people are looking at your work or, you know, it's up for public opinion, people are happy about it with the Three of Pentacles. Or there's a promotion at work, 
you're going to get it, okay? Recognize top sales, top whatever, top employee, what the fuck ever, okay? Three of Pentacles. So this is like, things are really going well for you this week in career. And then we got this lover shit that comes in. So then we got, it's always like that. It's the weeks, the weekly readings always start off with like business as usual. And then, I mean, I guess it makes sense because we're getting towards the weekend. So a lot of y'all become freaks on the weekend. So here comes this lover shit. So there's going to be uh, connecting with somebody that you feel like you love, soulmate, whatever. There's love between you and this person. Could be a Gemini. And then it's like this King of Pentacles who I, I really feel like at this point, I want to take all the King of Pentacles out of all my decks because the card is stalking me. And it's like, I'm not even going to talk about it, okay? The card stalks me. Whatever. I'm not going to get into it. Anyway, so you have this King and Queen of Pentacles um, coming out for the end. So, yeah, some of you guys are going to be spending time with somebody that you feel really connected to, okay? You're going to be spending time with somebody that you feel really connected to. You have similar goals, similar foundations, you could even be working with this person in business. This would definitely be someone that you have like a personal relationship with, but you also um, could, could grow a business with this person. All right. If that's not the case and it's just business, maybe it is business. You're dealing with somebody who's just business. But the, with the lover's card, it feels like y'all going to be spending time with somebody that you feel really connected to. You're very similar in ways. Not exactly the same, but your your foundation, which is legacy this 10th house stuff, like you're both very career oriented, you and this person right now and th at this point in your life or just maybe in general. So looks like it's a productive weekend with this person. It doesn't feel like it's negative since you're showing up as the king and queen of pentacles. Okay, so I see some good energy with your person if you're in a relationship. Even if you're not, it feels committed. You're going to feel like you're committed. And then that is, it's probably because you're starting off the week with the empress. Okay, so money looks really 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 good if you're doing anything business related uh work it's like you're blessed some of you guys might be doing candle work check out my candles okay we restocked up in there um but some of y'all are doing some manifestation work or like i said leo puts you out in the spotlight Got strength card at the bottom of the deck too so nothing's getting in your way this week nothing is getting in your way this week um I'm hearing a song in my head, but I can't think of what it's called. I can't I can't hear it right now. I'll think of it when I get off of here. I can't think of what the song's called, but I hear keep hearing this lyric. But I don't even want to clarify this. Honestly, the only thing I want to clarify is this Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, some of y'all figured out y'all issues to y'all money problems. Yeah, y'all figured out y'all issues to your money problems. Some of y'all might be taking my tarot class this week too. That's showing up if you're taking my tarot class. Um, so yeah, you're figuring out the solution to this financial issue that you're having. And some of you, the finances are good. Like with you showing up as the empress, your finances are technically good, but they're not where you want them to be. Like you're figuring out your, your way out of this five of pentacles energy. Some of you could be feeling like you're coming out of an impoverished state. Um, yeah, you're figuring out how you can increase your money. There's something that's going to come through to you. And I, again, for a lot of you, it's because you have too many ideas and you, oh, well, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. And you're not doing anything at all. That's mainly the issue. Or you do have ideas that you're not implementing. The seven of cups is a visionary card. It's one of my favorite cards. Daydreamers, big visionary energy. That's how I, that's how I make my money, y'all. Y'all don't believe me, but... I literally be either high or I be daydreaming. And they like, spirit be like, oh yeah, you need to do that. And I'm like, I need to do that. I'm like, that's a good idea. That shit happens daily. I mean, I have a Gemini second house. So that's probably why too. My mind's always on my money, but it gets, it gets, my, my second house is pretty stacked too. But I be daydreaming like fucking crazy. Just ridiculous. But I love it because some of the best ideas I've ever had came through, came to me through daydreams. All right, so I hope that this makes sense, you guys. Let me know what you think, okay? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're in the tarot class, your materials have been sent. You should be receiving them, hopefully, by Tuesday. Um, but if not, you can still take the class because everything's going to be recorded. Your The classes are always going to be sent to you. Any class that I do is always recorded and sent to the people who attended the class. So just don't worry about that. Um I might post some pick a cards tonight. I'm not sure. I'm really thinking I'm about to just lay it down. But yeah, I'll probably be posting some pick a cards soon. Either way, I have two done. I just don't know if I feel like posting them. Yes, I'm that tired.
Mm -hmm. All right. I'll see y'all later. Love you guys. Thank you for coming on. Make sure you comment when I post this. Okay. Peace.